Hey guys, what is up? Is Nick, and welcome back to episode three of the Fishing Village. Um, so far this series has been getting a pretty good response. Um, got some requests on buildings to add in. Um, a couple of um those will be added later on, though a church and I think the other one was a great hall or something like that. Um, definitely going to be doing a church, and the great hall is definitely up there. Um, so, from last time, not too, too much has been added in. Um, we added, I added in a house over here, um, which is a copy of this one, pretty much. Um, I don't know why I didn't just copy it if it's the same thing. <laughs> oh well, and then, that house was in the last video. I also started adding in some trees, gravel half slabs, too strong. Um, so I added in this one over here. I had to go quite far away to get this tree though, as that's not in the selection of trees around here. And then this one, which is found over there, however, to get this one so it's by itself, I had to go not that far off in that direction. Um, and this is, um, I love this tree, and I love these trees being here because they add quite a bit of, um, color to the build. Add in some green, which is really good. Um, so, today I'm going to be doing a let's build on this house, which is the smallest, or probably not the smallest version of this house that's going to be on here, but it's a medium-sized house. Um, biggest size house is going to be this one don't want to go too much bigger than that as this isn't like a um main city or anything so how we're going to start off is how we normally start off um don't want to interfere with this tree um so we'll go three 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 all around like that probably should grab a bunch of the material so I don't have to run back here so often um... sponge and end stone do I have fence? yeah I have fence alright and I think that's pretty much everything so this build doesn't use too much materials um... can pretty much fit them all in so next thing you want to do we're gonna put our door there so we're gonna leave a space there um, you can choose to put it wherever you want it. Personally, I like it um, there just because the entrance is right there. So I could do it there or there. Um, either way wouldn't look bad. Um, you can actually skip that space and that one and that one. Put logs in there. Whoops. And then go over the whole thing with cobblestone and that's our wall put one on top there for where the door would be so um we have that very basic right now however we're going to add some feet in on the bottom and the top now this does take some time but the end result is definitely worth it. Um, worth it. Did I say that right? I hope I said that right. I don't know. Um, so yeah. Um, this is probably one of my favorite designs that I've done for a house. As um, it's so. It's not simple, but. It's a small house, but it has so much detail, and you can fit so much inside of it. Alright, sorry about that. Um, someone came knocking um, on the door. So I finished up the steps. Now to even add more detail, we're going to add this really simple design. What it is, is a cobblestone wall, fence, then cobblestone wall, and it looks really good. And it makes this wall not so... um boring even though if you want to keep it at like this this is fine 
However, if you want to add that extra detail, um, you can definitely add this in. So, going to do that. Then, on all of these, go like this. So, build that um, outer wooden one on these sides up one, and then stack them up one there and then just connect them with sideways logs on all sides <coughs> so when you go up the second floor will be one bigger than the first floor now did I do that? yeah alright so next what you want to do is go up one then two then two then two go right up the middle like so one two two then two and we're going to do that on this side as well so we're just going to copy that like so and we have that now the next part is um kinda tough but um it's really not that hard if you have the monster blocks plugin he is the creator of the conquest texture pack which is the one I'm on now so what you want to do is just throw in your sponge in here um, if you don't have the monster box plugin unfortunately you need single player commands or world edit or whatever the heck it is to um change the blocks so that it looks like that so since i'm on a bucket server gonna throw in our sponge and then ah oh, darn it sponge isn't it never mind i'll be back well i goofed um, turns out it's endstone. So now what you want to do is select your blocks. Um, I like to have the X in the middle, like that, and then that one leading up to it on that. So it kind of forms this triangle with an X in the middle, and then you want that one on top, like that. Then do another triangle like that. So you have that. However, that's not the right triangle. That is. Um, then do the same thing over here. Like that. Should look the same on the inside, except those two are reversed um doesn't really matter though on the inside shouldn't really change up the build too much or make it look any different or anything like that so we're gonna just copy that same exact thing over here and this takes a lot longer with world edit or single player commands as um you have to go slash slash set um block id whatever this is so and so whatever and it really takes a while now um also want to add in endstone in these um little spots here you also want to put a block there um we got to do that <coughs> and then you just want to do the same thing there so that same exact design um, in these little spots on the side Did I skip it? I definitely skipped it. Alright, there we go. Um, 
So now, here comes the worst part of this building. Um, first, we'll add in our little designs on the side here. And we're going to change these twice. Like that. That one goes up two. That one goes up one. One. Uh, whoops, that one's a one. That one's two. Ooh, lag. Um, two. That's going to be the only problem with doing this series now on a bucket server is there's going to be lag. However, I think... I for the little bit of lag, I mean, it's not that bad. It shouldn't affect the video quality too much. Um, guys should be fine. But, um, I mean, if it gets really, really bad, you could always go back to the, um, single player. However, I don't think I'll need to during the series. So, next thing you're going to want to do is go along the bottom here with your sponge. Like so. Go up one. Up one again. This house kind of sticks out kind of far. But, um. And I think it might be a bit different. I'm not sure. I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty sure it's a bit different from this house now with the roof. How I'm doing it. Like that on there then you're going to want to copy this design on this side and then once you do it on this side you are going to want to do it on the other side so like that and then you're going to want to do it on the other side so now that we got that done on both sides we're going to want to change all of these to our 19 colon 2 blocks which gives us this thatch look and um 19 1 is that 19 2 is this 19 1 is what we are going to be using the rest of the time during the rest of the build so change all these to 19 2 almost done this takes a while too some parts like this actually is easier doing um world edit you just select two positions world edit they're all it but um since we're doing this kind of close to other buildings and those rules are technically sponge if i do slash slash change sponge i actually think i should be fine I don't think it would interfere too much. So next thing you want to do is actually you want to grab a button. That's the one item I forgot I need. Plus a door, but um, it's not huge. I mean, I guess it is huge. kind of want a door in your house, but um, so go like that. Out three. Then in one. then five like so then what you're going to want to do is bring these in like this and you're actually going to want to change that to sponge that to sponge and that and then you can change all of these to 19 1 whoops like so next go across like that so you got that shape then what you're going to want to do is go down in the middle five whoops trying to get down um 
go across with your sponge again. And man, does this house look ugly. <laughs> that yellow roof. So next, after you go down five, you're going to want to go down three. Like that. You're going to want to go up two on the ends here. And then you're going to want to go over four five like that and then you're going to want to do the same on the other side all right so once you got your sponge in you're going to want to go over it with your um, brush which is a empty glass bottle or you're going to want to world edit it and you're going to want to change it all to 19 1 and I will be back once I finish this and we'll have our pretty much finished project project yet eh, can't speak whatever all right so we're back and for finishing touches um gonna add in our door i'm not going to be doing an interior because i think i've done enough interiors on my channel um if you want to go back to one of my older videos you can find an interior video i actually did a video that i um built the house in one episode and then the next episode I did the interior for it so you could go check that out and interiors kind of work the same for all houses I'll actually um run inside this house pretty quickly um got some chairs here um I think I showed you this house in the last video but um we'll show it again in this one in case you didn't watch the last one so it's all very simple and um gonna head out now I'm actually very tired as it's like two o'clock in the morning and I need to get my sleep beauty rest most important thing so um other things you could add are the rope here I'm going to add that later in um I'm not gonna add that right now but other than that that's pretty much everything um as you can see this roof does stick out one more than that one over there it's a bit more whoosh spread out I guess I don't know um how the heck did it even get more spread out did i do the roof even right uh whatever oh i messed up there uh whatever um it looks good like this i'm gonna leave it i'm not gonna worry about it i think i have the same no that one's actually the different that one that one's different too Ooh. that one is too Ooh. all right so this roof is kind of messed up, but um, if you wanted to, you could add in the window still up here. Um, I'm gonna do that anyways, like that. Oh, my eyes are tired. Um, and there. So um, that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said, if you want to go check out my um video before on interiors, go and do that um episode four probably gonna be doing some time lapses soon um i think one let's build on this type of house is kind of enough as you can see they're all kind of the same with different adaptations such as this here um this is pretty simple just stick in the window and then do the same thing out here you can kind of pause it here if you want to look at that or that Darn it, this one needs a button. Crap. Um. Man. Finding flaws on my buildings here. Um. Or adaptations like this roof here, which is a bit. It goes up and then it goes kind of flat there. And then goes down. So, pause it here if you want to look at this. And then you could just add stuff like these flags around the city, or um, trees. I really like these trees, especially this one here. I love this tree. I don't know why. It's just so good. Um, I don't even know the guy's name who does them. He has some crazy name. Um, 
try to give him credit, but I can't even say his name, so, um, probably should put a link to the, um, custom trees if you're interested in those in the description. Hopefully I remember that. Um, but anyways, going to definitely be doing some time lapses, and I'll be doing some more update videos like the first two videos in the fishing village were. So hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.